A unique fashion accessory more than a century old. This muff made from the skin of a king penguin is back in the city it was made, with a new home at Otago Museum. While the piece has had a well-travelled life, its former owners decided Dunedin was its ideal final resting place. It was a, uh, donated by great-granddaughters of its original owner, who live in Canada, but um, it was purchased here in Dunedin from a shop called J. Constantine in probably the early 1870s. Uh, it then went to Australia with a family member and it ended up in Canada. In the past, a muff was typically made from fur or another warm textile with both ends open for keeping hands warm. Malthus says this donation is particularly beneficial for museum staff as it's come with its original packaging. That allows them to verify its origin and find out more about its long history. Furriers and people didn't necessarily label the, artif the artefacts themselves, so to have the packaging that shows which um, firm it came from, in this case J. Constantine, who was a furrier on George Street, he, he was in the Octagon at one stage and then he moved into George Street or vice versa. Staff are currently researching how common penguin muffs were in the past, aided by another King Penguin piece they also have in their collection. At this stage there are no firm display plans but Malthus says the new piece would fit in with several displays. It'll probably go into storage straight off but um, it'll come out for various stories I imagine. I mean it would tell stories in natural sciences along with um, other um, penguin stories perhaps or um, it would tell fashion stories, uh, it can be used in a variety of ways. Malthus says while she's familiar with several other past Dunedin furriers, she hadn't heard of James Constantine until the muff was donated. She's now going through old papers to find out more about the business and believes there's plenty more information to uncover. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.